Wow. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, jump on in real quick. Jump on in. I wanted to share some things with you just briefly today before we really get good and started into our day. Come on in. Come on in. We're going to wait a, a, a few minutes to get started here. It's Reverend Michael Johnson, Reaching the Lost at Any Cost Ministries, RTL. You can catch us on YouTube as well and um, Instagram also. Come on in. Come on in, family. Let's be an encouragement to one another today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, God. With my hands lifted up and my heart filled with praise, I will bless thee, O Lord. Sometimes you have to go back to the foundation of things, some of the songs that used to carry us through. Come on in and jump on in real quick. We'll be getting about another, another minute or so. We're going to go ahead and get into um, our short topic for today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Greetings to everybody that's coming in. Greetings to you in the name of Jesus. We bless you. We thank God for you. Thank you, Jesus. Lift it up and my heart filled with praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. A couple more seconds here. I'm going to get on in. I see you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Jesus. Well, beloved, again, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing, and we are glad in it. Again, um, it's Reverend, Reverend Johnson, um, RTL Ministry. We just wanted to um, put a brief word out into the atmosphere today to let the people of God know that if you really need God, now is the time. And what he gave me this morning as I was reading uh, and studying the word of God, I said, Lord, lay your hands on me, touch me, heal me, deliver me from this life as we see it, the things that are going on. One of the biggest challenges is to open up our mouths and ask the Lord to do something for us. He said that if you open up your mouth, if we would just open up our mouth and challenge him, because the, small, the things that we think are really small compared to how he is, He's a big God, a great God, and he's worthy to be praised. So I want to encourage somebody today, open up your mouth and ask the Lord to lay his hands on you, asking to touch your mind. The scripture says, if you keep your mind stayed on him, he'll keep you in perfect peace. Ask the Lord to touch your heart, create in me a clean heart, and renew a right spirit within me. Ask the Lord to come in. If you haven't, ask him to come in and save you. Ask him to be your Lord or your, and your Savior. Ask him to come in. Ask him to fill you with his precious spirit. Ask him to fill you up. Let your cup run over with his goodness and mercy. You won't lack anything if you would just allow the Lord to touch you. Don't be afraid. Don't allow the enemy to cause you to be in fear. Fear is real. Even though it's not of God, fear is real. Fear will try to handcuff you. Fear will try to stop you from opening up your mouth and saying anything. A lot of times when we're encouraged to open up our mouths, when somebody says, open up your mouth and just begin to give God praise, sometimes you feel something in your throat or like a clamp going on your mouth and stop, just like, I don't have to make all of that noise because God knows that God, he, he said, rejoice. He said, with a loud sound, 
with a loud sound. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. The Lord loves to hear his people praise him. So I want to encourage you. Ask the Lord to lay his hands on you. Because when he touches you, things change. Things change in the atmosphere. Things change in your heart and your mind. Things change around you. But it only changes if you allow the Lord to change it. So we encourage you today as we're getting ready to talk about salvation on this Saturday, this coming Saturday, we're going to be talking about calling on the name of Jesus. If you call on the name of Jesus, don't you know that he hears you? If you call on his name, just call. If you say the name of Jesus, there's power in the name of Jesus. There's salvation in the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. There's quickening in the name of Jesus. There's safety in the name of Jesus. This is Reverend Johnson, RTL Ministry. We love you. We want to do whatever we can to constantly feed and encourage the people of God. Remember, we have to continue to pray for our children as they're going back to school, whether kindergarten or college. We need to continue to lift them up before the Lord, that he will keep them and that no harm will come near them and that we will talk to talk to them on a regular basis and, and hear the good things that they're, that they're experiencing and learning. We pray for our leadership all across this nation. We pray for our, 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 our president and the vice president, everybody that's underneath them, that's working with them diligently to come to a resolve about how to deal with the pandemic and the masks and whatnot. It's important that we all do our part. Wear the mask, wear the gloves, keep, keep a safe distance, do what you can. Do what you can to protect not just yourself, but others as well. So this is our mandate. As we reach the lost at any cost, we do whatever we can. We want to try to go out today and um, visit a couple of people to encourage them to check on them and see how they're doing. There are some that are just waiting on somebody to call them or even just write, write a, a letter and mail it to them. We have to stay connected with one another. It's our charge as a people, as a body of Christ, to encourage one another. It's the reason why it says iron sharpens iron. We don't want to be dull. We don't want to be dull. We want to be sharp so that way when the opportunity comes to encourage somebody concerning the word of God, we'll be able to give them an answer of why we believe what we believe. Who knows what might be going through somebody else's mind right now. Somebody might be contemplating suicide some kind of thoughts to hurt themselves or somebody else. We are living in troubled times right now, and we need one another. We need the Lord most of all. That's why we're going to talk a little bit about calling on the name of Jesus this Saturday at 12 noon. Catch us. Catch us. It's Reverend Johnson, RTL Ministry. We love you. We will talk to you soon. God bless you in Jesus' name.